Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Libra for the month of February. Um, please keep in mind it is a general reading and uh, that being said, it's not going to resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. Okay, so um, if it doesn't sound like your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. And if not, simply check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Okay, so beginning right at the heart of this reading, we have the wings. Mm. The wings are speaking to your wishes. Um, it can speak to uh, messages flying towards you, um, something or someone flying towards you. It can be um, a divine blessing you're going to receive. It could also be improvements uh, with regards to the subject of your inquiry. So why you are watching this, um, this video, that would be what would be improving. Now, the praying mantis is looking at the wish. So like you're either in this energy or this is inner uh, energy that, that's coming in for you. Okay, and so the praying mantis, mm, he's looking at all of the details of this. Maybe he's not quite believing it. Maybe he's not quite trusting it. Maybe he has this, uh, maybe um, a sense of foreboding. Um, maybe he's got a lot of insecurities. The praying mantis is taking a closer look at whatever this is that has flown towards you. Now, what we see as clarifiers that I drew for that, for these cards, we have the three of shields in the world of truth. And so, hmm. So the three of shields is about, um, Uh, okay, it's about uh, somebody who comes, uh, I call it the seeker card, you know, but it's because the person is coming seeking something from you. So they're seeking uh, cooperation, understanding, forgiveness even, especially with the world of truth being here. Um, seeking maybe to restore the balance or seeking uh, a direction with you a healing with you, a new beginning with you, because Esclamon de Foy is here, and she is about new growth and um, potential. On, the, on her, we have the Two of Wands and the Sun, but neither one of these uh, cards mm, show that you have, an, uh, you know, the information. Because here we have the Moon on this card showing that mm, there's still a lot, perhaps, that you don't see yet, or you feel that way. And here we have the Sun that's just beginning to rise. Everything here still sleeps. So there are still things in the dark. It could be representing the dawn of a new day. You have a decision to make on a new beginning with this person. And we have it again here. Here we have the good news. This is, yeah, look at this. Wow. Okay, after probably a period of silence, somebody sitting really stubbornly on a decision, you're finally going to get news from that person. And this is a very, very lucky card to have. So it's a new beginning. They could have been sitting stubbornly on a belief. Anyway, with this person, you got a new beginning coming up. 
uh, well, you have the choice. You always have the choice. You have the free will to accept it or to refuse it. And this card also brings you luck. but it could be that you're somewhat afraid of it. Here we have this new beginning again. Look, see, we have the fool, we have the sun, we have this woman here on this nine of coins. Um, and so she only has nine coins. She doesn't have that tenth coin. So she has something missing in her life. And it is that coin. Um, perhaps she has a decent life. Perhaps she's missing love in her life. And um, she wants a new beginning here, I feel. Uh, this is about taking a risk. This is about seeking um, clarity about the risk that she might take or is thinking of taking. She wants, after all, this happy outcome of the sun. Because here we have the sun just rising. Somebody uh, perhaps made an error. Maybe they tried to cover it up. Um, it could be also that you are reflecting uh, on whether or not, uh, well, you're reflecting on what you, what the return would be should you accept this uh, second chance. Should you decide to go ahead with the healing to move this uh, to uh, a better place, you know? And so, you're very focused on the cup. You're very focused on, on the offer. Uh, but there's something here, you see? Um, there's something that disturbs you and you're looking deep going down these stairs you have to hold up your dress not to trip on it because okay so she doesn't want to trip and fall that's what uh that's what she's thinking uh she's got old fears that are creeping out from under the bed they're kind of grabbing at her from the shadows and so it could be is it old fears that are disturbing her there's something that is disturbing her about the offer um, it could be she feels she doesn't have this information. Okay, so she's watching very closely. She's got a lot of fears about the future. This is uh, fearing about the future and uh, about what may or may not ever happen. So she's really up in her head. Mystery. Things that are hidden, fears, intuition. So, I feel like this is like a mental clash. I feel like it's it's like a a, a conflict in the mind over this cup because clearly, although it ended and clearly you've experienced loss with this person, you still desire it. It's, it's clear, it's, it's written right here. And so there's a meeting that actually does go quite well here in your future, but you are so much up in the head that you think or you're, you're, you're trying to decide, is there trickery here or not? You know, and so um, this is going to be uh, what you will be deciding upon. Here we have, here we have the Knight of Cups, Seven of Love, and the uh, Two of Coins. So um, you could be going back and forth on this decision about this person because you actually have fantasized about. Uh, this person coming back and now they are back but yeah you're kind of cautious about it you got fears creeping out from beneath the bed 
you know, not quite trusting what they're, uh, you know, or, or maybe you're just not quite trusting uh, what you're being given. And let's remember, this is a divine blessing, you know, and, um, but you're all worried and up in your head about old fears, I think, you know, old beliefs, possibly. And you're wondering, you know, is this person just going to drink from the cup and leave? This is what you're wondering. You have, um, this is somebody who has commitment issues. This is what you're trying to decide. Will they stay, you know, and here you are. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, so, and, and down here we have the communication that brings in your new opportunity. It is a window, so windows are only open for so long. So, you know, you take the risk or you don't. It's up to you to decide. You cannot know everything, all right? You have the high priestess here. And the very one very important message on this card is not knowing what lies ahead. This is very important, okay? And so you will have to decide, you know, if you're going to dive through that window, if, if you're going to... Um, on this on this journey that you're going to take, which parts will remain and which parts need to go? It's kind of like you, you're going to take it. You you take one step and spirit's going to show you the next. Okay, it's it's like that. It's like you you cannot know. One minute. Sorry about that. So, yeah, so it's important, um, it's kind of like you're going to have to go that one step at a time, but you got to take that decision if you want to do this or not, okay? Um, that is what you're going to have to decide. Now, we do have the golden palace here. So, this card represents good fortune, ambitions fulfilled, wealth and prosperity. It may also indicate emotional fulfillment, as perhaps you're entering a time of happiness that is long overdue. The message here is that self-worth isn't measured by what you have, no matter how abundant your life is. Instead, it comes from what you are, how authentically you're living your life, and how much love you're willing to share. Granted, receiving this card does indicate material gain and a furthering of tangible rewards. But things come and go. And knowing your true value leads to even greater riches now. Share the wealth, this card says. So, looks like you have a decision in front of you. What should you do? This is your wish, you know. Um, here we go. Judgment again. Do you want this second chance? If, if they did something, can you forgive them? You must decide. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.